Beginning this look at sports with Africa World Cup qualifying matches where South Africa will be taking on Botswana with both sides still in with a chance of qualifying. They need Ethiopia to drop points against the Central African Republic. If that happens, one of the Southern African teams can then take advantage and the mood in both camps is high. CCTV's Dan Williams reports. Getting ready for the big kickoff. For South Africa's national team, this weekend will either be remembered as a magical upturn in their fortunes or a realisation that Bafana's World Cup hopes are over. In short, South Africa need to beat Botswana here at the impressive Moses Mabida and hope Group A leaders Ethiopia draw or lose to the Central African Republic. After all the talk, coach Gordon Iggerson feels his side is fully focused on the job in hand. They know exactly what's needed and um, I think I spent a little bit of time, not too much, but a little bit of time explaining to them not to worry about what's going on elsewhere. You know, let's just make sure that we win this game, which is the most important thing for us. And also, I've also stressed to them that, you know, a lot of people are just writing off Botswana. You can't write any team off in, in, in World Cup football or any international football match for that matter. And Botswana are a formidable team, but I, I, I believe that we will do well out there. I believe we're going to do well with the focus the players have got right now. There's more than just a place at Brazil 2014 up for grabs. The future of the coaching staff and some of the players will also be called into question if South Africa once again misses out. But Iggerson feels there is more than just an outside chance that Ethiopia's opponents, the Central African Republic, can do his side a favour. You'll see for yourself when we get the result, car in Ethiopia. I think every single one of you guys are just hoping, hoping that a miracle can happen. I don't think it needs a miracle. I just think it needs car to play uh, to, their, to their strengths and, the, and they can beat uh, Ethiopia. I know this for a fact. I'm speaking from experience because we played against car. So it's not going to be an easy game. Botswana themselves also have an outside chance of qualifying. They too need to win and hope that Ethiopia lose heavily. As unlikely as that all sounds, they still have the belief. I think we have came here to play against a big team in the region. Uh, it's not our first time to play uh, the powerhouse of Africa. We have been there before. I think the mood is, is 100%. So the stage is set for what promises to be a thrilling encounter between two southern African sides. But victory for either team could be bittersweet if news then filters through that Ethiopia have won their match against the Central African Republic. The joy of winning would then be replaced by tears and further self-analysis. Dan Williams, CCTV, Durban, South Africa. To Madagascar now, Africa's Kung Fu Championships have got underway today. One young Zambian is showing there's far more to this martial art than merely winning. CCTV Celestine Karane has more. Just two months ago, this city hosted the Confederation of African Rugby Tournament. Now, Antana Narivo is trying another sporting showcase, the fifth Wushu Kung Fu African Cup. We have invited uh, about 32 countries to participate in this competition. And finally, we have received the, the confirmation with uh, about 12 countries. And till today, uh, I think have, uh, there has eight countries have already received has already arrived in Madagascar. For the other countries, why they didn't, uh, they didn't, uh, they, they cannot intend this uh, this committee uh, for the reason of the sponsoring. Kung Fu dates back to ancient times in China, and over the centuries, various fighting styles have developed. The likes of Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, and Jet Li have popularized Kung Fu worldwide. In Africa, there's a small but passionate following. We have three athletes in Sanda, especially in Sanda. It means in fighting. So we participate because firstly to win and uh, secondly to get experiences. When organizing a tournament in Africa, the big challenge usually for the organizers is ticket sales. And the Wushu African Cup team has already put in place a plan to ensure that these gymnasium fields during the tournament. For the ceremony opening, we plan uh, for uh, the 10,000 Aliari, about uh, five, five US dollars for the ceremony opening. But for the, the, the normal implementation, the 6th to 8th September, just uh, the price is just uh, 3,000, like 1.5 US dollars. 
Kung Fu features two disciplines at major competitions, Sanda, which is a fighting contest, and Taolu, which is for demonstration. The winners will receive medals and gifts from the sponsors. Salasin Karone, CCTV, in Antananarivo, Madagascar. And that's where we leave it in Africa Live. You can stay in touch with us on Twitter using the handle at CCTV News Africa. And you can also visit our Facebook page, CCTV Africa. I'm Penina Karibe. Thanks for watching.